Hey everyone, in this video we're gonna learn about a new tool called uh, N8N. So N8N is basically an uh, workflow automation tool. So using this a trader can automate their uh, trading workflows without writing a single line of code. And uh, N8N comes with uh, two different modes. One is a cloud mode and uh, there is also an open source mode as well. So in today's session we're gonna explore about this open source mode like how you can uh, host open algo likewise you can also host n8n as well in your own uh, environment it's a cross platform which means you can install in your uh, mac you can install in your linux or windows environment or you can even host in your own windows or linux servers for your own personal use right so let's go and explore how to install n8n and uh, first of all i uh, in order to install n8n we need node so node.js is what required so let's go to node.js download so let's go here and then download according to whichever the uh, operating system that you are using in my case it is windows x64 so just download it and then install it in my case i had already installed so once the installation is done what you have to do is like you open up your uh, command prompt so here is my command prompt and just type these two commands node-v so you should be able to see the version which is installed in my case 22.12 whereas in your case it could be the latest version of uh, node.js and uh, npm hyphen v npm is like something similar to an uh, pip uh, manager to install libraries npm is for uh, installing the uh, node.js related libraries it's called as a node packet manager if i'm not wrong so in, in my case, both the node V and uh, npm hyphen V is already installed. Now it is time to install the N8N. So N8N can be installed probably if you go through the uh, context, you can install a N8N. There are two modes you can run it, npx N8N. If you want to run without installing N8N directly, it will be executing N8N, it will be running locally. But if in case, if you want to have a ready-made installation, maybe you can go through the open algo documentation so just go to open algo go to the docs right so i had provided a step eight, step by step procedures over here for how to deal with n8n if you're a beginner so probably uh, we covered this in node.js installation uh, we had installed a node and npm the, it's working fine now it's time to install n8n in my case i had installed that as well but i'm going to show you what you should do so npm install hyphen g hyphen g in the sense it will be installing globally n8n so this will be this command will be installing n8n in your local machine and once the installation is done now it is time to launch n8n so let, let it install it might take a bit of time probably a minute or two minutes of time and once the installation is done you are good to go and launch with n8n in the meantime we'll go and uh, launch the uh, application so here is our open algo so we're gonna run open algo over here i'm gonna run python app.py right so i had already logged in so anyways so let me launch open algo so here is open algo let me log into open algo enter the credentials in your case you may have to enter the credentials in my case i had already entered the credentials so once the login is done go back to the api key and uh, copy the api key and keep it uh, separately we may need this open uh, uh, algo api key when we are placing orders and uh, in the meantime we'll also go back and check whether the n8 n is installed or not it's still in the process of installing i'm sure it's going to take a little bit of time to install now what is so interesting about open algo is like what are the things that you can do with open algo combined with n8 n is you can uh, send the time-based orders right or you can uh, fetch data from apis you can process the stock market data in real time or uh, maybe uh, you can convert the data to whatever the format that you want you can schedule data downloads or you can schedule trade orders uh, placements all those things you can uh, do with uh, uh, n8n so the best part is like n8n is completely open source free to use for personal purpose it's a no code or even low code automation even if you are having a trading logic uh, simple logic uh, simple calculations you want to perform you can use python inside uh, n8n right so let's go and explore it and uh, 
yeah it is uh, self hosted you can self host under your own private domain and uh, you can also uh, host along with open algo as well open algo runs by default in port 5000 whereas uh, n10 runs by default in port 5678 like kind of a fancy number though and uh, yeah so it, it supports uh, integration with open algo 100% So I think still it's in the process of installing it. In my case, I had already installed, but I'm I'm sure for the second time it's taking a little bit of time. Yeah. So the installation is done now. Now launching is pretty simple. You just open n8n and press enter. That should be starting the uh, n8n server. So which is you can see that it's running in local host one five six seven eight. So right now the version is one point eight zero point five. Highly active community, and uh, you can go to the workflows. In my case. it's already logged in whereas if you are a first time user you may have to create your own login id and the password right so you can run as many workflows you want so i'm going to create my very first workflow so already i had my workflow here this is one of my workflow which i had created and tested so i'm going to create an another workflow here so click on create workflow that's that will be opening up the workspace where i'm going to create a schedule trigger so i'm going to add my first step i'm going to click on this plus button so here you can see on the right hand side various uh, methods you can uh, create the workflow so one of the method what i want to do is like time based automation so for a time based automation we need something called schedule trigger so the schedule trigger is here you can also see that right we can also access ai models as well like deep seek uh, mistral aws bedrock right so lot more almost some 400 plus workflow automation is possible via this open source uh, uh, n8n workflow uh, let's explore some of the things in this session so let's go to the schedule trigger so i want to schedule the trigger i'm going to select my uh, trigger interval so if you could see here i'm going to select as a custom cron so here you can see that the format is like second minute hour day of month and uh, day of week the second is optional So you can see this information from the documentation itself. If you go to the documentation, I would have provided the link to the cron expressions. So there, this is a cron expression link over here, right? So uh, you can see that star uh, second is like kind of optional. The setting uh, this is optional here. Cron job represents seconds. Setting this is optional, right? Which means uh, you don't need to give. You can just skip it out. but otherwise the cron instructions goes something like this let's go to the workflow automation so zero that means 0 uh, seconds space minute is like i want to place exactly order at time is like what 1132 right so let's say like i want to place at uh, uh, 36 okay 11 11 uh, in the sense 11 is like hour uh, 36 is the minute and uh, day of the month uh, month and day of week so i'm going to give star star and probably the day of the week so if you could see that the, the day of the week let's go to the documentation again here is the documentation so day of the week you can control like sunday to uh, saturday so let's say whichever the day you want you can control it let's say you want to run this only on uh, monday tuesday and thursday so you can accordingly configure the expressions over here so by default i'm going to give it a star over here because i'm going to run on a daily basis including sunday saturday monday also but in your case you have to change it according to your requirement so once this is done right it automatically gets saved so you can just click on back to canvas so the first uh, workflow we had created it now we have to ensure that uh, we are also setting the time settings so if you go to the triple dot over here you have to uh, first you have to save this let's save this over here i'll i'll, I'll give a name over here i'll say like a uh, time based straddle time based uh, straddle hyphen open algo so that's a name i'm going to give to that i'll also saved it as well so let me go to the triple dot go to the settings and ensure that uh, the time zone here we are selecting as like uh, probably asia time stamp with uh, i mean by default it uses utc timings the green which timings so we have to go here and select asia kolkata this is a mandatory thing if in case if you have play with uh, time based conditions so that it refers uh, 
IST timings instead of uh, UTC timings. All right, so now we'll go and create our uh, first order. So I'm going to create an uh, order over here. So basically, if you remember, if I want to send the orders to OpenAlgo, I have to send orders in the form of OpenAlgo APIs only. So we're going to, when the time is getting triggered, we're going to send orders to the OpenAlgo using the OpenAlgo API method. So for that, you can always go and refer uh, the OpenAlgo documentation. So let's say I'll go to the OpenAlgo documentation over here. So I'm sure we'll go to docs.openalgo.in. From here, you can scroll down and then go to the API documentation section. Let's say you want to place an order. We'll go to the order section, place order. So here is the post request. To the post request, my OpenAlgo is running in this uh, portal. 5000 port is what it is running. And uh, API v1 place order is the endpoint. Let me copy this endpoint. I'll come back to the workflow. So here I'll just type HTTP because I want to make an HTTP request to OpenAlgo. Let me click on that. And the method is post method, which you can see from the OpenAlgo documentation itself. The URL is this. And as of now, we don't have any authentication, no query parameters, no headers and send body. This is where we're going to send the body uh, using a uh, complete JSON itself. And here we're going to enter the JSON message. The JSON message, what I supposed to enter over here is like this one. So let me copy this and then I'll paste it out. I want to send the orders to, let's say, uh, Nifty, Nifty, 06 March 25. Uh, it's the expiry date followed by the strike price 2200 CE. That's what the order I want to punch. I'll say like uh, the strategy is like N8N strategy and uh, the API key probably the one which we had copied from OpenAlgo. Mm -hmm. Let me also once again go to OpenAlgo and then I'll copy it. So I'll just copy the API key. If in case if you want to see the key, you can just see it. But just simply copy it and then uh, get back to the workflow paste the API key over here, ensure there are no spaces, strategy is set, symbol is set, action is like buy, or we can, we're gonna send a straddle, right? So we'll sell the straddle over here, sell the straddle, exchange is NFO, and uh, price type is market order, product is MAS, quantity is 75, the total number of shares is what you have to specify in OpenAlgo, and just copy it for your reference, right? And I think more or less we are done with that. Uh, we can also test this step as well, whether it is triggering an order or not. Uh, don't try this in the live markets. If in case you are, you don't want to try it in the live markets, you can always switch back to analyze mode. In the analyze mode, we are going to go and trigger this step. So you can see that the order is getting punched and we are getting an order ID. That means things are getting successful. So if, if me, what, what does that mean is like uh, the order is getting placed over here, right? So yeah, once uh, the things are working fine, you can always switch back to live mode. So now if you try to test it out, let's see what happens. If I want to test it out, now real orders will get punched. The orders will be reflecting in my order book. So here, here is the cell order, which we had triggered at 11.37. So the time is 11.37.53, uh, the order got triggered. Right, so it is working fine. Now the order is working fine and it also generates a lot of variables as well, which you can see that it is extracting those inputs. All right, so uh, so now the if the if at all the time-based trigger is gonna happen, it exactly gonna trigger the, uh, it's, it's gonna trigger the orders. This is for uh, placing the call option. So now I'm gonna duplicate this, I'm gonna copy this. So right click, probably I can copy, or I can duplicate this. I can bring it over here and I can simultaneously, I'm gonna trigger an another one and double click. I'm gonna change this to a put option, right? I'm gonna change this to a put option. Rest everything remains the same. Same API key, uh, symbol changes to call to put option, sell, NFO, market, MAS and 75. If you want, you can also test this step as well. I'm gonna test it out. Yeah, the order is getting placed. That means so far successful. And go back to the canvas. You don't need to say, save anything specifically. Automatically it gets saved. So you can go back to the canvas. So now we have this workflow ready, right? So what we're gonna do is like, we're gonna test it out. Uh, time is like 11.39. Um, so I'm gonna change it to like 11.41 probably. I'm gonna save this, right? So go back and 
it, it's got saved. You can also test the workflow here. If you are clicking this trigger, automatically the trigger get executed and then order should have been sent. You can test it manually with the click of the test workflow button. Or if you want to test it out uh, in a live mode, what you have to do is like ensure that you activate this and uh, uh, ensure that this active status is on so that now it listens to the uh, trigger. When the trigger is there, exactly at 11.41, the order should be getting triggered uh, simultaneously and parallelly. Order should be sent to the call option and the order also should be sent to the put option as well. Right? That can be done over here uh, very easily. Let's go to the time.is. So let's go and monitor the time over here. So probably the order should get triggered in a matter of minute. Now what we can also extend is like we can also extend the workflow by sending the orders. What are the order which got triggered? We can also send it to the Telegram bot as well. Maybe which we will be exploring in the next session how to build such kind of cool workflows, sending in uh, automation, sending some uh, some data from uh, the workflow uh, we collected, whatever the collected we had collected, we will be sending it to the Telegram uh, IDs or Slack. So another 15 seconds, it's going to transmit the order. It's supposed to transmit the order. Let's see it's going to do or not. So I'm sure we are in live mode. So probably I'll go to open algo. So open algo, here we are. So you see that the order is getting placed and order ID is getting confirmed. And if you go back and see the timings, uh, where exactly the timings that we are able to see here. So let me refresh the page. Or maybe I have to refresh the page here. Yeah. So 11.40.59 and 11.40.58. Exactly around 11.41 is what we set, right? So it's, it's triggering the orders exactly at that time, which means the, the order execution is happening here. So maybe in the next video, we'll learn how to integrate Telegram channel along with uh, NI10. So this is a simple basic workflow that we had designed, but however, the workflow can be as complex as possible. And uh, so I'll see you in the next video. So keep exploring NI10. It's a fantastic software and uh, thanks to the team. And they also have uh, a uh, cloud-based solution as well. If in case you are interested, you can go and uh, play with that. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.